Hi guys and welcome back to the Fitness Fix Montreal. My name is Patrick Gravel. Today we're going to talk about a great subject, calves guys. Now I'm answering a question for a friend today, Jonathan Fournier. This clip is for you buddy. So listen up and listen wide. Now, what is this obsession with calves? Well let me answer this. Calves are a sign of dominance. In the old time, a lot of authors said that a mammal without calves were weak and pathetic. So basically, that's why the dominant mammals were, could run faster, jump higher, and basically get bigger kills. Maybe that's a little bit why we like calves so much. But let's move on from that and check what and how are we going to work our calves. So let's start by knowing that the calves, they do plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is I'm standing, here's plantar flexion, okay? Now, this is as a trainer's point of view. As a myofascial therapist, I know that the superficial line of the back goes from the hamstring to the calves, and with the help of our little friends, the rotators of the hips, basically glute max, we can get a bigger contraction in our calves. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to explain that in about one moment. But very, it's safe to say that if you want to work your calves, the glutes are going to have to be incorporated. So just remember that. And also, I always encourage people to work the muscle by the definition and the action of the muscle. Which means that if the rectus abdominis or six pack flexes the trunk and extends 10 degrees, you are going to flex the trunk and extends 10 degrees, right? Now, the calves, the action is to plant or flex. So what is this obsession of going on a board and dorsi flexing using tibialis anterior and then going up? Am I getting bigger contraction? Now, when I went to McGill University in 2006, they told me that you're not getting really a bigger contraction, but you're getting the muscle some tension where it's going to be a lot harder for it to contract, right? So, what we're trying to do is keep the motion as short as we can, but work the muscle in the action that it was meant to do. So just standing like with two dumbbells and going up, you are working your calves. You don't need to dorsi flex. So in retrospect, how do I get a massive kick-ass pump on the calves? Well, very simple, guys. So this. Jonathan, you need to do plantar flexion, squeeze your glute max, and go a little bit higher to get maximum contraction. And remember, when you're standing, you're getting the gastrocnemius, which is the calves. And when you're sitting with a flexed knee, you're getting the soleus. So these are two different muscles. So seated calf raise should be called seated soleus raise because it's not a calf. Okay? This is the calves or the gas trucks. Okay? So just remember that guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks for following the Fitness Fix Montreal. If you got a question, inbox me, post a comment, like the article, 
Talk to your friends about me. Okay? Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. If you got a question, I'll answer it and dedicate the next video to you. Thanks. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.